and then I'm going in and grabbing a small section out of the front and this is where my shortest layer will be for my like bang situation I'm pulling that hair to the front razor combing it a little bit shorter than the other layers and then I'm following that down the side to kind of blend everything together and I just continue to kind of cut in a downward motion with my razor comb all the way around the wig until I have a more circular shape This hair is curly and super full, so it's already gonna be big and juicy, but I really wanna give it a cute circular shape. I feel like one, it matches my face a lot better, and two, it just gives it an even more voluminous look. The fro was given, but I went ahead with a little bit of styling foam and some gel and defined the curls. And now we can get into the install. I had already went in and trimmed a little bit of the excess lace off so I can see a bit better when I was doing the cut, but now I'm gonna trim it even closer to the lace in a jagged motion. I like to trim the lace on my wigs before I do my glueless installs. I feel like it just melts a lot better. And to lay the wig, I'm using my Black Even Supreme Hold Spray. And I'm kind of doing it in sections. I'm starting in the middle and then I go along the sides. I like to make sure my wig is centered first because I have definitely applied my wig crooked before. That is, I've done that. That is, I'm not proud of it, but truth is, it's happened. So I like to do the center first just to make sure that everything, you know, is even. And then I move on to the sides. And I'm paying close attention to my ear tabs because that is the hardest part to keep down for me. So I'm paying, you know, some close attention to those. And once everything has dried, I'm going in and combing out the baby hair because I got a little bit of that spray in them and they were a little crunchy, girl. So while that's drying, I'm going in with my diffuser and making sure to get the wig all the way dry. At first it was like 90% dry, but I just kind of used my diffuser for the last little 10%. And then I went in with my concealer to define the part. And now that the lace is laid and that spray is dry, I kind of combed out the baby hairs a little bit first just to get any excess product out of them. And then I'm going in with a little bit of foaming mousse and some edge control to lay the baby hairs down. You can totally keep the edges like nice and curly for a more like natural look, but I wanted to take advantage of the texture on these baby hair just to get some nice baby hair swoops going. I couldn't, I couldn't help myself. I really wanted to leave it natural, but I just couldn't help myself and it came out so cute. It literally looks just like it's my hair. I got so many compliments of people telling me they love my hair. Like, and um, I didn't have a heart to tell them that it wasn't mine, so I just said thank you. And this is the finished look. I kind of fluffed it out a little bit, but she is gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. I wore this wig for quite some time, girl. I did not want to take her off, but I had to. And if you want to get the first look at how I wear my hair and the content that'll be coming out soon, make sure you're following me on Instagram because I post everything there. First little snippets, giving y'all little sneak peeks, honey. So if you want to stay on top of that, go ahead and follow me on Instagram at Winnie Jean, and I'll see you guys in my next upload. Bye, babes.